Yes, as the title of this video suggests, Fluff sent me a pedal, and I want to share this story with you all, and share the pedal with you guys. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube. Let's dive on in. The story goes like this. About two weeks ago at the time of this filming, I released a video showcasing my live rig, my live tone, what I'm using in a band setting, and uh, you know, what I use to play in front of people, right? And up until this video, my distortion sound was my Squire baritone into a Fort and 33 into channel two of my gold-plated Mesa Boogie dual rectifier that's right there. That was my high gain sound, all right? And um, what I love about that tone, and I'll say it here again, is whether you like it or not, you can't deny that it's very unique and very jarring. And that's what I've always said. But I've also always said that objectively, it's not even a really good tone. It's just insanely, um, just it, it cuts and it sounds disgusting, right? I've said it a million times. I don't necessarily think it sounds good. I just think it sounds unique, right? And the main thing that creates that tone is in fact the Fortin 33 pedal. This beast right here. Now I've had this pedal on my board predominantly for the better part of two years ever since I got it. And I love, 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 love the sheer intensity of this pedal. I think no pedal in my experience really comes close to this sheer amount of just insaneness, to put it in technical terms that the Fortin 33 delivers. But the one Achilles heel, the one crutch, the one kryptonite or whatever, uh, I ran out of analogies. The one problem we'll say uh, with the Fortin 33 is although it has a ton of intensity, the one thing it also brings is a ton of shrillness and a ton of high end. And again, I'll say here, I love boost pedals more than overdrives. Um, especially in lower tunings, just because it keeps it clean and I don't need more distortion, I need more tightness. Boost pedals do exactly that and the Fortin 33 is designed for that. But again, the one thing that this pedal unfortunately does is it brings a ton of high end along with the tightness and insaneness. Now this video is not to bash this pedal. I love this pedal, it's probably my favorite pedal um, of all time, but again, it's not perfect. It's just, it creates a unique sound. And you know, I love Fortin, I love Mike and the team. Um, you know, they've been awesome to me, but I will be honest, like for me personally and for a lot of people, the one issue with this pedal is a ton of high end. And um, especially with the dual rectifier, it just, ah, just doesn't really like, I can't get away from the high end, but I love the intensity. So double edged sword, catch 22, catch 22. Getting to the bulk of this video, where does Fluff come into all this? Well, he's a big time Mesa Boogie dual rectifier fanboy as am I, right? That's kind of one of our bonds. We, we uh, you know, we kind of go back and forth every now and again talking about dual rectifiers and, you know, he collects a whole bunch. So he's well versed in dual rectifiers, honest, honestly, more than I am, right? So Fluff saw my video and, um, you know, he's in agreement with me and the fact that he's tried a 33 with a dual rectifier. And, uh, you know, we both agree that just the high end is just unfortunately, you know, the Achilles heel, I'll say it again, of, of that pedal. So all of a sudden about a week and a half goes by and I get mail from Ryan Bruce, Fluff himself. And um, I open it up and inside the package is the Peppers Dirty Tree. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he sent me this pedal. Now this pedal um, apparently comes right from Reverb, used on Reverb. They were out of stock from uh, Peppers, so he bought it himself and then just shipped it over to me. So like, talk about a kind thing, right? A kind gesture, like, I couldn't believe it, man. I was so, you know, thankful and honored and just very lucky to call Fluff a friend and he's a good person and this is just one of many personal examples where he's been extremely good to me, right? So I'm just very thankful and I just want to take a second to say thanks, Fluff. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for always just being my friend and just being super kind to me. And uh, I just really, really appreciate you, man. So speaking on the pedal real quick, there's a ton of demos of this pedal, but basically it's a boost pedal with two different circuits. And then you also have two EQ knobs, high and low, right? So what I love about this pedal is you can crank this bitch and then you can also dial in the amount of high end or low end that you want to taste. Now, what you're gonna hear right now is a quick little demo song using my entire rig, but instead of the 33, we're gonna put this guy in front of it, okay? And basically, I cranked up the low end a decent amount and then I got rid of all the high end as much as I possibly could with this pedal to get rid of the shrillness because my Jazzmaster has single coil Jazzmaster pickups. They're not P90s, I'll say it for the millionth time. They're Jazzmaster pickups. And uh, just single coils in general tend to have a lot of spikiness and, spikiness and harshness. So I just turned out all the high end in the Peppers pedal, the Peppers Dirty Tree. And I think it made the tone 
that much better and that much sweeter, okay? So I'm gonna do a quick little demo song in drop G, and then I'm gonna give you some isolated guitars of said demo song so you guys can hear what the guitar sounds like with the Pepper's Dirty Tree in front of the Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier, all right? So after all that, we'll wrap up today's video, okay? So let's get into some tones finally right now. So ladies and gentlemen, that was a long-winded story to basically tell you that Fluff sent me an awesome pedal, and I love it, man. It, it, it certainly, I wouldn't say it replaced the 33 because I have a soft spot for the 33, but I will say objectively, it sounds better. It does sound better, but it's not as intense as the 33. The 33, when you crank this bitch up, man, like, <laughs> it sounds insane. It just has a ton of firepower behind it. This, in my opinion, doesn't have as much firepower, but it just sounds better. Uh, but you got to dig in a little bit harder. Just a slight, you know, dig in slightly. Just my own personal experience. Um, but again, it just sounds better. It sounds more of a uh, less gnarly tone. And at the end of the day, it's kind of what you need, right? So I just want to say to wrap up this video, a huge shout out to Fluff, man. Thanks for being my friend. Again, I'll say it one more time. I really, really appreciate you, man. Thank you for um, always, you know, just showing how great of a person you are to me personally. And um, it really means a lot, man. Like, you know, I look up to you, dude. And uh, everybody who watches this channel knows, like, you're the reason why I started this channel. So really cool how, like, things like this happen. I just really appreciate you, Fluff. So thank you, man. And just wrapping up this video, talking about the pedal. The pedal's great, man. It's more usable tone, more tweakable tone. And it does the boost thing very, very well. And I'll say it one more time, I love boost pedals more than overdrive pedals, especially in lower tunings. And this pedal does exactly what I like in my live rig. So ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for listening to my story time and just listen to me hang out and talk about guitar tone, okay? I'm going to get out of here. That's going to do it for this video. If you're brand new to my channel and want to consider subscribing, I appreciate it. I'm out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. I'll see you guys next time. Later.